Hey dudes, it's your boy Nick here. I just want to give a thanks to a YouTuber and one of my new subscribers called McSpeedy. And um, here is his video. Hey guys, it's your boy Speedy. And today I want to talk about a very serious topic. I recently saw in one of Andy Einsman's videos a very sad video where he stated that his mom is passing away. So, he saw, he saw one of my videos and he said he, he, knows, he knows what it's like to, because he lost his mom. And I think I'll feel the same thing and because because my mom will pass away real soon. Well, right now, Grandma is... Well, I told y'all this in my last vlog. And, uh... I told y'all that Grandma is uh, I'm vi visiting my mom right now, so... And, well, I haven't, I haven't told y'all this, but... Uh, there's this... Um... I'll go on here. So, there's there's this organization called uh, Waiting Angels. It's, it's like um, a married couple on that visit, say, a, a, um, or something like that. I, I never, I never heard of it until until this morning. So, well, there's like one person who visits in the morning hours, and uh, there's a there's a another one that visits in the mid afternoon slash evening hours. So. So with uh, those those guys, waiting angels, my mom won't be alone. So again, I get I get a big shout out to McSpeedy. Thank you, McSpeedy, for um, addressing the situation here. And I just want to give I just want to give a big thanks to waiting angels. And uh, I just want to give I just want to give a huge thanks to to uh, Metro Metro Ambulance Service because without without them my mom my mom wouldn't be here. Yeah, they um, transported my mom back and forth and out of the hospital, and well, it well it didn't it didn't affect me. Well, it, well, it, well, it didn't affect me. So, uh, I just want to tell you a story about about the uh, time mom had her a uh, gallbladder taken out. So it was back in 2010. I was living here, apparently. Well, I, well, I lived here. For, I lived here for a year. So mom went to the hospital. I think it was about in. September. I was in fifth. I was in. I was the uh, fifth grade. Yeah. Well, it was like the. It was like a month after school started. So my mom woke me up at around about two o'clock, like two o'clock in the morning. Um, and mom had to call around one. Had to try to call grandma first. And um, she was at the hospital in. Well, it was in the emergency room. And um. Well, I think I had to miss a day of school for that, and um, things got very ugly. Well, Grandma had to take me away. Plus, uh, two two Wealth Star security guards just wanted to see everybody was all right, and Mom started acting up, and um. Oh boy, how do I get I, I get too much detail? Long story short, I had to go back to my part I had to go back to my mom's apartment to and to pack some stuff up. I just wanna step in until about eleven eleven o'clock that o'clock that morning. So I went back to school the the day that day later and uh I spent the year here through my birthday through Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Spring Break, Summer Break, and um, well, in 2011, uh, well, well, a year later, I went back to uh, my mom to my mom's place. Yeah, well, here's the here's another story. But the time I uh, moved out, well, it counts. So.
it was it, it, it was the end of my of my tenth grade year at school. I was I was I was I was, I was living I was living with my mom still, and um, <coughs> well back well back in June yes we can't just start by Thursday store because it's almost been a year now. So there well I well it was well it was after I came home. Well, it was it was in August. Sorry about this, guys. Well, mom was was at Emory, and uh, my I was still living at the trees of Kennesaw. And the rent over there costs fifteen hundred bucks a month. Rent thirteen hundred bucks a month, and utilities cost two hundred bucks a month. So. That was expensive. On top of that, it wasn't like updated or nothing. Well, well, I'm there built back in 1999, the year I was born. And I moved it. Well, mom, dad, well, mom and dad and I moved there around about 2005. Well, I lived, well, I lived there most of my life through elementary school, middle school, and mostly high school I would count ninth tenth and part well ninth and tenth grade that that was it so um I think it was late August where Craig and I w went there picked well well we started to clean up the house and um it took well. It took it took about it took about, it took about a few weeks just to uh, just to clean it all out of there. That the um, storage storage unit and 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 next to the uh, apartment and um, had to uh, had to well what uh, during most of mom's stuff to charity and most well well. Well, I donated mom, some mom's stuff to charity, some of my stuffed animals. And I, I'm still keeping some of them. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, and, and, the, and they're cool, aren't they? And, um, I lived, I lived here ever since, so, uh, yeah. So, again, thank you, uh, th uh, thank you, McSpeedy. Your real friend. That's why you're part of my fan base, you know. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe more vlogs. Like and comment. Turn on and uh, turn on that bell for notifications. Like and comment. Keep it awesome. Follow me on Twitter at Andy Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out, my dudes.